it should be very clear to everyone, the United States has a condition for the beginning of negotiations with Iran, and that condition remains the verifiable suspension of Iran's enrichment and reprocessing activities. That was Secretary of State Rice defending the decision to send a top-ranking American diplomat to sit down with the Iranians this week. And we're back now with Britt, Jill, Bill, and Juan. Uh, so the president sent the number three man of the State Department, Under Secretary of State William Burns, to Geneva to join our allies in laying out uh, a set of incentives and sanctions uh, with the Iranians, depending on whether or not they freeze their nuclear program. Juan, uh, you heard Secretary of State Rice say that's not a change of policy. Well, Is it? He, well, I think it's obviously a change of policy, but uh, just to give the devil his due, if you will, Secretary Rice, President Bush, say it's not a change because they're simply sitting there as an act of solidarity. You say everyone is here to make it clear that we intend to have a solid front with our allies against the Iranians and to call for sanctions and actions where necessary to get them to step down from nuclear activity. Uh, Bill, let me ask you, a couple of months ago, the president seemed to be going after Obama at the Israeli Knesset for his policy of talking directly with Iranian leaders. Let's watch that. Some seem to believe that we should negotiate with the terrorists and radicals as if some ingenious argument will persuade them they have been wrong all along. We have an obligation to call this what it is, the false comfort of appeasement. Does sending Secretary Burns uh, to this meeting make it harder now for the President and McCain to go after Obama? Well, I prefer the Bush of the Knesset speech to the <laughs> Bush-Rice policy of the last few weeks. Um, I don't, it's a small step to send the Under Secretary of State. It's not like meeting, you know, at the presidential level. But, you know, I think the signal we've been sending towards Iran is we're sort of desperately hoping that diplomacy and sanctions will work, and we've moved our own goalposts a few times to try to make it easier for the Iranians to come to a deal. And they're not going to. They're not going to. And so people have to face up to the fact that they want nuclear weapons. And either we're going to stop them or someone else will stop them or they'll get nuclear weapons. So why do you think that, uh, and, and according to the reports, that Secretary of State Rice was able to persuade President Bush, you know, you've said you're not going to sit down and meet until they suspend the program. Now we're going to go to the meeting. Because in those kinds of conversations, it's always a somewhat convincing argument. So you go the extra mile. That way, you, no one can say you didn't try hard. No one can say you didn't go do whatever, whatever the Europeans ask. And perhaps if there's going to have to be military force, you're in a stronger position having gone even further than you, would, than you said you would go if you're going to have to use force. The downside of it is it sends a signal, in my view, of weakness and of retreat, and it strengthens the worst elements in Iran. That's the thing that I think they're not thinking enough about, frankly, in the State Department or the White House. There are debates within Iran, presumably. Ahmadinejad does more and more reckless things, and presumably some people internally tell him, hey, that's dangerous, you're going to pay a price, and he pays no price, and if anything, he can now say, look, I'm doing well, we're winning. Yeah, but the, the contrary point of view from the Bush administration would be we're standing strong with our allies and contrary to what you say and what John Bolton said other, the other day, not, it's not a case of the administration sinking to depths. I mean, I mean you guys are not, the, the, the Bush administration is now taking shots from the right, but I think the more centrist position is the more responsible position because you should go to whatever lengths you can in go to, to have one peace. In May of 2007, there was a meeting in Iraq. Uh, hosted by Prime Minister Maliki. Iran had a representative there. The United States and the person of Ryan Crocker, the ambassador, was there. This was a meeting to discuss the situation in Iraq with Iran. Now, that was a face-to-face -face meeting. It was even arguably a negotiation to a greater extent than this is. What I, what I sense here is that th this is not so much a change of policy. Uh, and, and it is arguably, you know, you saw the administration's uh, steadfastness in insisting on not being in any meeting alone with North Korea and not negotiating with North Korea except in the context of the six of the of the, of the three parties that, that were involved in the, in the North Korea situation. Now we have a similar situation. I think there's a lot less here than meets the eye in terms of a change as one describes it in policy. 